This funeral programs tutorial is brought to you by the Funeral Program site. You may find that you want to insert a single photo box or an additional text box within one of our template pages. This video will demonstrate how to do this using our simple and classic single fold funeral program template that you see before you. In this example, we will be replacing the text boxes on the back cover with a photo box and a text box beneath that. The first thing to do is click on the existing text boxes until the blue square and circle selection boxes appear around its perimeter. Then hit delete on your keyboard. And do that with all the remaining elements. Make sure that when you select it, your cursor is not blinking in the center of that text box. Or when you hit delete on your keyboard, the text box will not delete. Click on the perimeter and then hit delete on your keyboard. Click on the perimeter, hit delete on your keyboard. Once it's removed, we will now insert a photo box. To do this, click Insert, Shapes, and choose the Rectangle selection. Your cursor turns into a cross. Click and drag the size and shape of the rectangle you wish to create. Position it into shape by clicking and dragging it to where you want it to be. Now your photo is ready to be inserted into this rectangle box. Please view the video on how to insert a photo into your program in our video tutorial library. Now we are going to go and insert a text box beneath this photo box. To do this, click on the Insert tab, go to Text Box, and choose the simple text box. A text box now appears on your page with some filler information on the inside. Click on the perimeter and move it underneath your photo box. And you want to size it to about the, the width of the photo box and just the height of the amount of text you think you will need. From here you can go ahead and highlight the filler text information and hit delete on your keyboard and enter your own information here. Or you can go ahead and paste it inside this text box now. When you create a text box, the default is a white filled box with a black border. To remove this, you're going to click on the text box, go up to the Format tab, and say Shape Fill, and say No Fill. What this does is it's going to make your text go above the background image, and in this particular template, the, the background is white so you won't be able to see it, but um, it'll make the inside of this box transparent so you can see through it. Now let's remove the border by going to Format, Shape Outline, No Outline. And now your border is disappeared. From here you can go ahead and enter the remaining areas of your template and that's all there is to adding additional text box and an additional photo box into one of the pages of your template. Thanks for watching. View more video tutorials in our library only at the Funeral Program site.